heads or tails I say no way, try again another day I should be happy Hey guys, it's Jackie and for today's tutorial I have three different hair looks inspired by the whole festival theme so they're perfect for summer, very laid back and really easy to do so I hope you guys enjoy them and I do have three different makeup looks in this video I filmed on three different days and just had a lot of fun with my makeup so if you like any of the looks let me know in the comments down below and these little sparkles on my face are from Body Bobble they're a really cool um, face jewelry shop I guess I would call them online so you can order from them and they're great for festivals or if you just want to be glittery so I hope you guys enjoy and without further ado let's get into the hair looks This first look I'm calling Boho Tails and it's so fun, textured, and you don't have to worry about this hair getting messed up because the messier the better. Start by brushing out your hair and I'm working with a side part because it's more flattering on me than a middle part, but you can do either and I'm using some Oscar Blondie products today. I got these from Generation Beauty, so first I'm using my heat protectant and second I'm spraying in some texture spray into my roots and I'm massaging it in for more volume. Now that the hair is prepped for heat and has some texture to it, leave your bangs out or your front pieces and pick up a small section along your part and we're going to create a Dutch lace braid. I did this in my last tutorial as well. Dutch lace braids are my favorite and really quick and easy once you've got the hang of it. So with three strands, take the outer strand and go under the middle one so it becomes the middle strand and you're going to keep weaving the hair like this. What makes it a Dutch braid instead of a normal braid is you're going under rather than over. And add in a small section along your scalp closest to the hair we've sectioned off at the front, just on the one side to make it a lace braid. You guys have probably seen me do this before. And continue this until about the top of your ear and then braid normally, tying off the hair with a little elastic. Pull apart the braid giving a messy texture and a fuller look so the braid really stands out. And let's repeat the same steps but I'm creating a looser braid this time, just not as tight to my head and I'm not pulling it out as much for some interest so you have two different braid textures going on. You can leave these details in your natural hair as a fun look or continue on and create the boho tails. So I'm adding one more Dutch braid on the other side as well. You can do as many as you want but I think odd numbers look best and three is just the perfect amount for my hair. After fluffing out the final Dutch lace braid, it's time to add some texture to the hair. So I'm using my Numi Waver. It reminds me of Aquamarine when she goes to the last splash and it's just really easy to use. So just clamp, hold, and then move down the hair. I also tease for a messy texture and this could take a while if you choose to do your whole head. So I just did some top, top sections and teased and then moved on to the other side. And you can always do this with no heat as well. You can go to bed with some braids in your hair while it's a little bit damp or depending on your hair even dry. And that will be a similar no heat version but I already had straight hair. And again I'm hairspraying with the Oscar Blondie medium hold hairspray. And then with my hair split down the middle, gather your hair onto each shoulder and then we're just going to normally braid. Loosen up the braid so it's larger and looser around your neck and I pulled out some front pieces and one of the braids and I'm just readjusting it how I like it and on the other side repeat and there is my boho tails look. Can you feel me? 
this hairstyle is great because it photographs well, it's unique and fun, and you can take the braids out later and have a sexy beachy look. So many occasions and my go-to messy pony. I have second day curls on here and this is my side part so I'm going to create a deeper side section where I will create the braid. Again I'm using the same lace spray technique but I'm grabbing hair vertically from the new parting we've created so it lays nicely along my head and I love that it gets out this pop shape which you'll see more when I pull it apart and that's why I just am obsessed with Dutch braids. But I did about five sections of adding in hair, and then I just finished the braid off normally and added an elastic. Pull the braid apart to thicken and soften the texture, like in my last look, and this flatness will really help it sit nicely against the head as well. And now gather your hair into a high side ponytail, and you need to do this kind of tightly so that it'll stay in place, but we do want some room to kind of play with the texture around your hair, so not too, too tight. And then add in the braid, wrapping it around the base of the pony so it camouflages the elastic. Now to make the pony have some volume and softness, pull the surrounding hair upwards softly, little bit by little bit, and this will have a sweeping look going into the ponytail. You might need to look at the back um, with another mirror to make sure that it looks nice around the braid. And then just take out the teen spray again, add some more to the ponytail to boost the effect as you tease it. And then I have some loose flyaways around my face for added texture. And if you want, add a braid or a few to add some subtle detail into the ponytail. And I didn't even tie this off with an elastic, I just sprayed hairspray in the ends, but using colorful hair elastics could look really cute. And there is my finished glam messy side pony. This last look can double as either a princess-esque hairstyle or a looser, more boho, boho hairstyle. So of course brush out the hair and section off the front to your crown and pull out the rest of your hair into a low ponytail so it's out of the way. And I'm just teasing my crown so it doesn't fall back into my side parting. Thin hair problems, but you really don't have to go crazy teasing because this does take time and it is damaging to your hair so I usually like to skip it but I do want my hair to stay put. And now that we have a slight poof and we have it all pulled back, we are doing a Dutch fishtail braid. This is a workout for me because it's tiring because your arms are up for a while, but like a fishtail braid, divide the pony into two. Take a small section from the outer side and cross it under to join the other section. Repeat this going from side to side, but add in hair from this front section along your hairline. For this braid to work, the new section added from nearest to your face has to join with the smaller outer section from the first original ponytail, and then you can finally cross it under to join the other side. I hope you guys get what I'm saying and after a couple of add-ins, I've just Dutch fishtailed a little bit longer and tied it off with an elastic. 
fluff this out and bam, there is another hairstyle right there. I've seen this on Tumblr with the elastic strap by hair and it looks super cute, but I'm going to take it a bit further into a different hairstyle. So with a small pony, divide it into three and then Dutch braid. So this just means a normal three strand braid, but I'm going to be moving the strands going under and add in large chunks of hair quickly into the braid to incorporate the rest of the hair. Fluff this big braid out again and here are two different looks. So number one, this one is full on princess hair, has a very Rapunzel vibe with the flowers accentuating the details, and this could be worn to like a wedding, it's easy but it looks really complex, and now without the accessories you can really mess it up and it looks a lot more boho. Let me know in the comments down below which version is your favorite, if you like all the flowers in there or you like it a little bit more boho. And also, if you would wear the flower one, where would you wear it to? Because I don't really know where I'd wear it, but I really like it, so I need ideas. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed these three hair looks. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up so I know to do more hair tutorials. And check the down bar. I have a whole list of um, hair tutorials that I've done in the past. I tend to do very princess type looks, but you can always mess them up and have kind of princessy beach hair so I'll have my recommendations in the down bar and you can also find my tumblr link twitter as well as instagram so follow me on there I'm always posting photos to keep you guys updated and I always post my looks before they actually come in video form so you know what's going on and I was made aware on tumblr and instagram that some of the photos that I have posted surrounding these festival looks can be seen as offensive with the um, jewel in between my brows similar to a bindi in Indian culture and I never meant to offend anyone. I'm really sorry if I did offend you and I'm just letting you guys know that you can get in some hot water if you choose to wear the bead there as I've learned. So this one is my favorite style. And they have tons of different um, jewels on their site so check out Body Bobble and specifically this style because I think they look awesome and I will see you guys in my next video.